Hi students, a warm welcome to all our Vidyanjalites into the home schooling, schooling spell too. I hope you all have enjoyed your holidays by staying safe at home and charged yourself by being creative, isn't it? Students, today I am going to recollect the previous homeschooling chapter in geography that is resources and development. Resources. What are resources children? Anything which has utility, which satisfies your needs. Here are some of the resources. Let us see. The livestock, the rocks, the metals, the human resources, picnic spots, buildings. These are the different resources which we use in our daily lives. Some are readily available in the nature. Some are created by the human beings according to our utility. Children, at the end of this chapter, you will be able to learn the definition of resources, classification of resources and the types of resources. Everything available in environment which can be used to satisfy our needs, provided only if it is technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable can be termed as a resource. Yes children, the resource should be technologically accessible. If you want to manufacture any resource, you need some technology that should be accessible. Then it should be economically feasible. That resource which has been manufactured in the industry or the company, it should be economically affordable by everybody and at the same time it should be culturally acceptable by everybody in the society. If you can fulfill these three terms then only that thing can be termed as resource. These are the different classification of resources. The resources can be mainly classified into natural and human. Natural resources again they are subdivided into renewable and non-renewable. Renewable which can be renewed. In this renewable classification you will be having again two divisions. One is continuous or flow. In this category wind and water. Wind comes under continuous because wind blows continuous and water flows continuous. Then next term com comes to biological. In the biological renewable things, natural resources like vegetation, forest and the other division is wildlife, it means animals. Now comes to non-renewable resources. In the non-renewable renewable category, recyclable ones and non-recyclable ones. In the recyclable resources, metals are the example. In the non-recyclable resources, fossil fuels are the example. Comes to human resources. Again, these human resources are divided into two categories that is the structures, the man-made structures, buildings, dams, bridges, all that structures comes under human-made resources. The next comes under quantity and quality. The quality population, it means the qualified people, doctors, IAS, IPS, lawyers, lecturers, all comes under quality population. The quantity, the size of the population, the number of population. Here comes the type of resources. There are basically four major types of resources children. The first one on the basis of origin. In this type of resource, we have again two subdivisions that is biotic and abiotic. Biotic resources which has life and abiotic resources which does not have life. 
on the basis of exhaustibility resources are two categories that is one renewable and non renewable which can be renewed and non renewed on the basis of ownership resources are four types one is individual which are owned by only individuals community owned resources example like parks community halls burial grounds comes under community owned resources national resources railways waterways airways and technically everything belongs to the country such are called national national resources international resources some of the resources belongs to international organizations like unwo for example the waters the ocean waters the huge ocean waters belongs to international resources the last but not least on the basis of status of development in this we have three four categories that is one actual or developed resource actual resources are already developed resource which are in use right now potential resources these also can be readily used but we are not using at present they can be used later third one is reserves these are the reserves these are the resources which we are reserving for the future purpose stock stock is a subset of reserve for example the dam the water in the dam and the forest comes under stock the water in the dam cannot be used at a time because it can be used for different different purposes at different times so that comes under stock students today we have discussed about what is a resource and classification of resources and the types of resources in the next topic very interesting that is these resources how can we develop develop them in a sustainable way so that is that will be a very interesting topic children don't miss it in part 2 see you again stay tuned thank you